Welcome, this is the uh, TCAP practice test for grade 7, math section. Question number 4, which value of k will make the equation below true? I don't know why you would pick one that would be false, but they did underline true here, so basically we're trying to find the answer. There's a couple ways that you could do it. The uh, most functional ways to solve the equation, you could also plug in here. I mean, you're only given four choices, so if worst, if worst becomes worst, then uh, you could always just write 7 fourths, put a parenthesis, minus 9, and then start plugging in your answer choices. So 3 and 3 sevenths. What you're looking for is a combination that ends up giving you uh, that 3 that you're looking for. So if you could figure out, say, 3 and 3 sevenths. So I'm going to do 7 divided by 4. And then I put a parenthesis there, and it's 3 plus 3 over 7 and then minus 9 and it gives me negative 3 so it's not going to be if I do this it would give me negative 3 and it wouldn't work so I would just go down and plug them in until I finally get the right answer but instead of doing that I'd rather solve it and I'll prove that that method works here in just a second after I solve it so the first step when I'm trying to solve an equation is to draw a line down the equal sign now it's at part what we call parties over in my class anyway uh, here's my variable this party ended, so I need to kick one group out. I'm going to kick out my friends or my friends of friends. The friends of friends will hang around forever and annoy me. My friends might actually help me clean up. So I keep my friends close, so that 7 fourths is right next to me since I'm K. So I need to get rid of the minus 9. To get rid of minus 9, I need to add 9. That cancels. On the right side, 3 plus 9 is 12. Then I need to bring down 7 fourths K. From here, the idea is that the 7 fourths and the k are touching each other. Their k is not part of the fraction, so this is not a divide situation. 7 fourths is a fraction. It's touching the k. When numbers and variables are touching, they're multiplying. When hamsters touch, they multiply. If you've ever had male and female hamsters at the same time, if they're touching, they're multiplying. So get ready for n little hamster babies. So in this case, it's a multiply. So to get rid of multiply, I need to divide. Divide by 7 fourths. And you can do that in the calculator, or you can use the keep it, flip it, switch it thing, where you do 12 over 1 times, flipped over fraction would be 4 over 7, and you end up with 48 over 7, and you reduce the fraction, 7 goes into 48 6 times, with the remainder of 6, so 6 and 6 sevenths. So the answer is going to be G. You can also just do it in the calculator, 12 divided by 7 over 4. And if you need to convert that back into a fraction, you could totally do that. And you'll get 48 over 7 in some calculators, depending on which one you have. And you just have to remember that 7 goes into 48 six times with the remainder, like I said before. Now, the other method I was talking about, 7 fourths, I'm going to plug in 6 and 6 sevenths. Using the, co the calculator that's the most complicated to do this with, uh, I'm going to talk about the TI-83 because it doesn't do fractions nearly as well. Here's exactly what I'm going to type in. Parentheses 7 fourths, parentheses 6 plus 6 over 7. Got to close that out with a double, minus 9. So I'm going to type all that in really fast. Hopefully I don't make any mistakes. And it gives me 3 when I type all that in, and it's supposed to give me 3. So I know that 6 and 6 sevenths is the correct answer. So if you don't want to go through the, long, uh, the solving equation part, I don't know why you wouldn't. It's much easier. But if you really need to l just get over it and uh, you can't remember how to do it, you could always just plug in the values for k and see if you can get one side to equal the other, and then you're good to go.